This is the beginning of Advent, a season of longing and expectation of Jesus' birth. This is week one of our time together in contemplation, reflection, and celebration of Advent. Together, let us close our eyes, turning our attention towards this time of reflection and scripture. Our reading for this week comes from Luke 1, verses 5 through 25. As I read this passage, take note of maybe a word or phrase that may capture your attention. When Herod was king of Judah, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order, and his wife, Elizabeth, was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive, and they were both very old. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple, for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must not touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth, and he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and the power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord, He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. He will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Zechariah said to the angel, How can I be sure this will happen? I'm an old man now, and my wife is also well along in years. Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. It was he who sent me to bring you this good news. But now, since you didn't believe what I said, you will be silent and unable to speak until the child is born. For my words will certainly be fulfilled at the proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah to come out of the sanctuary, wondering why he was taking so long. When he finally did come out, he couldn't speak to them. Then they realized from his gestures and his silence that he must have seen a vision in the sanctuary. When Zechariah's week of service in the temple was over, he returned home soon afterward to his wife. Elizabeth became pregnant and went into seclusion for five months. How kind is the Lord, she exclaimed. He has taken away my disgrace of having no children. The story of Zechariah can stir within us many wonderings. Maybe you find yourself in a season of exhaustion from long unanswered prayers. Maybe you find some solidarity in Zachariah's doubt, for you too are in a moment of doubt. Maybe you are questioning your ability to hear clearly God's voice. From our message today, is there something that is grabbing your attention? Let's sit in quiet reflection. Take this moment to bring that before God in prayer. In closing, we pray, present God, meet us here and now. As we open ourselves up to the season of great anticipation and expectation of your birth, help us to be aware of your presence. 
As our hearts and minds try to collide, our doubt may surface. Help us even in our unbelief. When the weight of worry or doubt overcomes, give us strength to draw our gaze towards you. May the longing in this season begin to develop a deeper longing in our hearts to trust you and allow our being to sing. Amen. Amen.